What are your overall thoughts on that? Uh, I'm a bit frustrated, Will, to be honest. Um, it's a bit like a training game, wasn't it, to be honest. We were so comfortable, but it's one up with our decision making. I think we were a bit sloppy tonight. Um, I'm really pleased we scored off a set play. Um, we scored two, which is good. So we've been working so hard on that in training. Um, and Jordan does a great job in, you know, selecting set plays and, and analysing the opposition. And so for us to get to get two goals off that, and I think we probably could have got another two, to be perfectly honest with you, you know. So, so there are positives to take, but we can't let our standards drop like that, because if we do that Saturday, we'll get punished. So, um, but we've obviously won the game. We haven't performed at our best. So, like, from my perspective, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take the, the positives from that. And more minutes for some of the younger players as well? Yeah, I thought Hannah was excellent tonight. Um, again, you know, she's, she's a very talented player. Uh, obviously, Paz got another 90 under her belt. Um, the good thing is, to, to say, we had to rotate it. And, and still, I want to say keep the performance level, because, as I said, it was, it was a little bit... Um, I have also heard on it, so we just didn't use the ball well enough. Uh, but look, it is what it is, and you know we could take that as a learning and just make sure it doesn't happen again. Because I said to them after the game there, we haven't won anything yet, nothing. So if we start getting carried away and not doing the right things and still being accountable for our own standards, then they'll have a shot. I want to ask you a little bit about Taylor. She scored again today. Yeah. I mean, she didn't score at all last season. She got three in, I think, nine games now. So that's obviously a pleasing thing. Yeah, look, she's got freedom, obviously, to get forward. Um, I mean, Potsy put her on there on the set plays and obviously it, it, it played dividends. She's good in the air and, you know, she's got two headers now, which is, uh, which is pleasing. Um, but no, listen, I've been really pleased with Taylor and, you know, I think she's probably been our most consistent performer right the way throughout. And you mentioned Bo's um, delivery from the set plays. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Fantastic, isn't it? Listen, they're undefendable when she's got that whip and that pace on it. And um, so we've got two goals from it and then you've got Fernie's one at the back post. There's another one in the first half as well. You know, so from that perspective, uh, deliveries really, really help, especially if we attack it and at the right time. And another positive, that stretches it to 11 games, obviously. Yeah, listen, it's, we ain't always going to perform at our best levels, but what I won't have is, I want to say cocky, but we've just got to keep doing the, the right things. And, um, you know, you look at top, top teams like Chelsea, like, they wouldn't turn the ball over like we did at times tonight, you know? And, um, yes, we've made changes. Um, but a lot of these players have, you know, played three games now in this in this tournament. Um, so there's a bit of an understanding, a bit of a relationship there. Um, so from that side, we have just got to make sure that we just keep doing the right things. Yeah, Beardy, you obviously mentioned those deliveries. I don't know whether you noticed that Kent Anzander Arnold was in the crowd tonight. So watch you guys. So do, do you reckon you learnt a thing or two from Bo? I think she learnt <laughs> one or two from things from him. You know, since, since he's always. Um, She's always working on them in training, free kicks, corners. Uh, she ain't got a bad delivery, is she? Yeah, sure. Let's have a look at her. <laughs> um, yeah, and also, uh, Will might correct me on this, but I believe um, Bo is the youngest captain local has, youngest has captain. ever had. Um, yeah. Congratulations, Bo. Thank you. So, yeah, firstly, bit of your thoughts, and then... Yeah, now listen, she's... Um, I've said that like, all along since day one. That if I look at her progression since we come come in the door, um, you know we're really pleased with where she is, and she deserves the armband. One, she's Liverpool through and through. She loves the club, but two, like you see her work ethic day in day out, yeah. and she'll be a future Liverpool captain for sure. So many years to come with her. What did that feel like out there for you today? It's a proud moment. I've wanted to be the Liverpool captain since I was a kid, watching Gerrard the way he used to play and lead the team. It's just what I want to do and to be able to showcase it and Matt to give me the opportunity I'm made up to be honest. Yeah we were just chatting before you came over about Trent obviously being in the stands today and I was saying you probably learnt a thing or two from you today. I've just said in the interview over there I'll keep him the hat tricks give him the Milan <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just said. <laughs> said they didn't want to spoil it for him. <laughs> I think we've both come through Liverpool with set pieces a big thing in the game now. A lot of goals come from it and if you work on it, it can win and lose cost your games on the defending ones. And I think if you can score from set pieces, it's a key thing. 
know, I'm just finally from me. What what does what does Liverpool mean to you? What what does it mean to, to play for this club um, and to wear the bags? Like from a young kid, football's just been driven into me and I wouldn't know it any other way. I can't imagine me like without football, going to matches every week. If I'm not playing, I'm out watching football, whether it's Sunday league, McKinnon and the nephews, whatever. I'm watching football all day, every day. Thank you. Thank you. All good. Lucy, can I just ask you? Okay. Just, we could see you smile from up here when you were walking out. I know you just said to her, and I know it's felt, but are you family here tonight watching you? Yeah, my mum, my dad, my uncle, my nan, and my nephew, and his little mate Oliver comes to watch me every weekend for them to come. It's a proud moments. Home and like, away, isn't it? Home and away. They come everywhere, and it's great. Because yeah. that was me when I was younger, and I love to make them proud really. What you said there when you went over to them then? My uncle said, mm. <laughs> 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 He just pulls a face, he's critical, but it's, we'll speak properly when I go home, it's just all smiley when we see each other, yeah. yeah. Have you had any messages from anyone else um, about being captain, or do you think that they'll start to flood in tonight when you go home? I haven't even had a chance to check my phone, I think when I check my phone, I'll be able to see if I've had any messages, hopefully. And get to reply to them all, any support, it doesn't come unnoticed. I'm sure it'll be blown up when you get it. I have to put it on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry though, I've just remembered that obviously Gemma Bonner's here and, and she's a person who you've taken obviously that record off and obviously she's a, a local captain that many fans here will respect and remember for a long time. So how much did you kind of look up to her and how much did you learn off her when you were obviously a young player? I think when I was in under 11s, that when Matt was the manager here, Gemma was the captain, we was yeah. always a halt and down at the stands. I was like that, giving her high fives and whatever. Then as soon as I moved up to the first team, I was training alongside her and she took me under her wing a bit and told me never change your personality and I've never done that. She said it'll get you far. And Fair fault, yeah. <laughs> and I think I've just stuck at it. I'm confident person and I'm dr driven and when I want to achieve something I'll make sure that I do. Good for you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.